What's going on in social media checking? All right. All right, everybody. Our first one says, hey, I came to the U.S. on a student visa and within one year I've applied for asylum. If my employer is ready to provide sponsorship, am I eligible to change my visa status from asylum? No, to not, not at this point now. Mm. I don't hear you in this quick. My bad. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Here I am. Um, the next one reads, I am arriving. Um, hi, Brad. Brad, I am an arriving alien, came through the border and seek asylum at the border entry. Came out of immigration detention with immigration bonds. Now I'm married to a U.S. citizen and filing for my I-130. My question is, what is what immigration category should I fill on the I-130 as a parolee or what? You're an arriving alien. As a matter of fact, you can file an adjustment as an arriving alien. All right, mile seven is uh, following up from a question from yesterday saying out of 12 questions asked by the officer during our Stokes interview, this is three of the questions we couldn't answer together. You only got answered 12 questions in a Stokes interview? Out of 12 questions. Wow, yeah. that was a fair Stokes. How, how, how many is it usually? 200. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the one is what food your wife ate last night? One said rice, the other said seafood. Two, how many days your husband works in a week? One said Monday to Friday, and other said Monday to Friday, and sometimes the weekends. And the third one is how did you uh, how did you go to the wedding center? One said by the car, the other said by the train. So what's going to happen now? Well, I don't know. Did you eat fish or rice, or maybe you had fish and rice? Did you give an opportunity to explain? Your answers, did they give you an opportunity to explain your answers? I don't know. Uh, Monday to Friday working, Monday to Friday and sometimes weekends. I think that's okay. I don't know what explanation you have for fish and rice, but sometimes you eat fish and rice together. <laughs> Why somebody took a trade and the other person took a car. I can't give you an answer. Why somebody answered that wrong. Somebody didn't go... Uh take the right mode of transportation to the right. wedding center. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going to happen. It's up to the officer whether they believe it's a bona fide marriage. All right. Okay, this one comes from Wiggy Chin and they say good evening Brad. My daughter's an American citizen but she is in Jamaica and her passport will expire next year. Would it be a problem if I renew her passport in Jamaica? Nope, you can do it. Okay. Uh, Najla is saying if uh, their wife, which is the LPR and sponsor, gets SNAP housing section eight, will it be considered a public charge against the applicant who has a two year conditional green card? Any problem in the interview of removing condition? Removing conditions, you don't have to worry about public charge. But if he was adjusting oh, okay. the status, the answer is yes, it would be a problem. This one comes from Carrie M. And they say, hey, Brad, is there a way that my sibling can remain in the U.S. instead of going to Jamaica for her green card interview? She's been living here for more than 20 years without documents. I think we that person called on the phone or maybe no, that was somebody else. I don't know whether or not you whether I don't know who's sponsoring. I don't know if you're 245. I I would need to know a lot more. All right, P.S. Uh, saying, I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm using state-funded Medicaid, not the federal-funded. Will there be a problem for my husband at U.S. Embassy's interview because of public charge? Yes. Um, the next one says, I came to the U.S. on a student visa. Within uh, one year, I have applied. That's the one you read that one already. Um, hey, Brad, I am the F4 category, and I am outside of the United States. Uh my priority date was January 31st, 2007. In the last December and January, the bulletin board showed cutoff for February 2007, which means my priority date was in those months. To date, the NVC didn't contact me. We know it is a possibility that they, um, NVC, can forget to inform me. However, in February, the bulletin board showed um, July 1st, 20, 2006, um, what does this mean? Do I have to wait for the bulletin board to show my priority date gonna, again, or should gonna, I contact gonna, them? You can contact the National Visa Center for sure. Nothing bad will happen, but you're going to wait till next year before this whole thing processes. Okay, Brad, um, I'm an arriving alien. Uh, came through the border and seek asylum at the border entry. Came out of the immigration that detention. That one, I read that one. Okay, Alum. 
saying, uh, I'm a U.S. citizen filing for my wife, submitted uh, all necessary documents and accepted by NVC. Do the NVC sh uh, should send me a letter? Why has it not been scheduled even through the pandemic? Because there's a ban on all immigration at U.S. embassies by Donald Trump unless you are married to a U.S. citizen or a child under age 21 of a U.S. citizen. So if that's, if that's the case, then why did the National Visa Center not contact you? I don't have the slightest idea, but the, we got to call the National Visa Center and find out. This one sounds familiar, but I, it might not be. I filed VAWA um, in 2018. I filed my EAD renewal last August 2019, and I checked my case status history, and I saw your new card being produced. Brad, is that a VAWA card or an EAD renewal? I don't know. I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, it could be. It could be. Uh, you're not. You're not getting your green card unless you went for an interview. So it sounds like this person did not go for an interview. So it sounds like their work permit. Okay, Victor is saying I got married with my girlfriend, a U.S. citizen, in 28 days after entering the U.S. B2, but I really didn't have the intention of staying when I came. I got good docs supporting that. How do I proceed in interview? What was the question again? I'm sorry. So they got married to the girlfriend within 28 days after entering uh -huh. the U.S. on a B-2 visa. Well, the law says if you get married within the first 90 days, the presumption is you intended to get married. Do you have a story that says when you came into the airport, you didn't intend to get married? You were coming That's to what visit? That's he said. He has good documents supporting that. Well, then you, you got to present it all and hope they believe you. And if they don't believe you, and then explain why in 28 days you went from I'm visiting to getting married and living here for the rest of my life, how that all changed your entire life in 28 days. If they believe you, wonderful. If not, you'd need to file a waiver. Okay, guys, the next one um, reads, my spouse was born in America. He is filing my adjustment of status for me, but he has only been living here in the States for three years. Is there a problem with it? How is he a US citizen just living here for three years? unless he was living in another country and now he came back, it's not a problem at all. I, the assumption would be that he was a US citizen, he moved to another country and just came back for the last three years. Yeah, um, she didn't I confirm guess, that, but. I guess, uh, no, it's not a problem at all. Okay, Julian Green saying, if I get an intent to deny and ask to provide proof by date and you haven't sent it on the date, what will happen? It, well, if you've gotten a notice of intent to deny or an RFE between March 1st and September 11th, 2001, they're giving you an extra 60 days from whenever that, you know, time that you had to file. So everyone who gets an RFE, everybody who gets annoyed and knows of intent to deny between March and now, actually through September 11th, 2020, will get an extra 60 days. All right, the next one comes from Lauren Benbow, and she says, hi, Brad, I filed for my daughter's waiver with your office. She did her fingerprint um, since January, NVC notified us of waiting on U.S. CIS's approval. How long do you think she will have to wait? I have no idea, but if you're my client, call us in the <laughs> office. Tia saying, my question is, I got approved a uh, notice for EAD and uh, AP, but I've not received the combo card as of yet, 61 days yesterday. I raised a service uh, request to know, uh, talk, talking it uh taking it why is it taking that long basically i don't know why it's taking that long either it got lost in the mail or immigration's really slow in your particular case i i didn't handle it so i don't know you know a lot of times right, people ask one. me why immigration I, I don't know why it's lost in the mail they didn't process it fast enough i didn't do the case i don't know Okay, this one comes from Kings TV and he asked, hey Brad, I have a dismissed class C misdemeanor. Will it, will that affect me on nationalizing to citizenship in two years time? If it was within the last five years, uh, it could affect you from moral character, but it was dismissed. So hopefully you'll be able to overcome it. Okay, Gabriella saying, my husband is a U.S. citizen and he petitioned for his parents. They've been residents for five years and the lady, the lady that helped us file the paperwork said she included the minors at the time they were filed for their residency. Uh, it appears that she never did and now the kids are 22 and 24 years old, still unmarried. Can you please let me know what we can do or need to do? Thank you. Looking you, forward to having your support and guidance. Your parents have to file for them. 
you know, when you, uh, I just had this consultation with somebody too. When you file for an immediate relative, let me tell you who an immediate relative is. Immediate relative is spouse of a U.S. citizen, parent of a U.S. citizen. One of the questions on the form is, please name your children. You list your children on the forms. That's a question that is asked by immigration. What is the name of your children? That doesn't mean that those children are included in the case. They're not. By law, immediate relatives, children are not included in the case. You gotta file separate applications for them. So when that lady said they're included, either she's lying or she doesn't know what she's talking about. They're not included. When you file as a US citizen for your parents, the only one getting the green card is the parent that you filed for, no children. Once the parent comes, then you gotta turn around and file for the kids. So the parents have to file petitions for the children. Okay, and this is the last one. Um, this one's another time one, but there's a detail in here. Maybe we can give her an estimate. Okay. Um, so USCIS, how much time for RFE result? I submitted my file in F2B case um, on May 14th, 2020. Now they are sending me an update. They have not sent an update, it's, any update. It's supposed how to, much be, it's supposed to be I four say? months you're supposed to hear from them. So if you responded when? Um, May 14th. So June, July, August, you'll hear in September. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.